What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. Today I'll be doing an all new deck profile on the Hiyaki Boat Strike deck from Winter FC 2015. Basically I have a copy of the English deck so I'll be doing an English deck profile so it'll be easier for you guys to understand the deck as well. So yeah, um, the Winter FC 15 basically gives support to old decks like Hiyaki Boat Reverse and stuff. So this deck has gotten new support and really, really awesome support I say. Uh, for example, this guy actually uh, is a he is a version of Hiyaki Vogue, except you don't have to lock anything and the card can bounce back to your hand. So yeah, uh, I'll go through the deck before I explain the whole deck and how it works and the combos. So yeah, enjoy. The great tree, the great tree plays is um, for Hiyaki. This is an awesome card. His ability is a limit break. So if you're fighting those uh, pesky, pesky decks that um, great start you, like repose, you can trash them with this skill because it's huge. His um, his skill is choose two of your uh, Morocco Mo regards and lock them. So basically you have to, a reverse, as a reverse unit, you have to lock your own regards. And then choose up to three of your um, covert, covert demonic dragon Hiyaki Vokes. Uh, reverse on the on your regard circles and those unit gains are stank power. So basically, let's say the combo is to do this. Um, get access to three copies of Yaki Vogue onto your field. You activate the limit break. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's huge power. Just like that. Very, very simple card. So basically, you just lock two units. Then you gain that thank you power with your. So yeah, pretty simple. Alright, his second skill is on right skill. So when this guy's reading as a Vanguard. Um, when this card is placed on Vanguard Circle, you can Con Blast 2 and search a deck for one, one copy of itself and call it to the Vanguard Circle. And then at the end of the turn, you can bounce back to your hand. So that Of the GBT strike stuff. His ability is counter blast one when you perform strike. So when you stride, for example, I'm gonna give you the most prettiest strike. I'm a sucker for, for pretty cards. So yeah, when you perform strike, count blast one and you can um, clone one clone one copy of a card on your field and so basically for example I have this clone superior core up to two copies of this onto your uh, field. At the end of the turn, this um, this card is placed at the bottom of the deck. So basically, you count blast one. You call you call two uh, shadow units, which I just call it because it, it attacks and goes goes away. So it's good because it, it kind of um, eats out of your opponent's hand hand size guard since you have <coughs> since you just call three units for free, two units for free. My bad. So yeah, it's good because you can help you help you rush really really hard. Um, of course, obviously, we can't, they can't stay on the field, otherwise they'll be too overpowered. If it's one copy on a field, it, I guess it's, it makes sense. But you're calling two copies, which makes it a perfect column. So, yeah. Um, so, Count Blast, call three units, call two free units and attack that turn. His sec, uh, GB2, GB2 skill is when your regard is when your regard is put into your deck uh, due to an effect of the cards, you can search your deck for up to the same card, one card of the same name and add it to your hand. So... You activate cards like like him that uh, when he attacks and you super call it, he just goes. You can search for another copy of him instead of just losing that unit. So it's pretty nice, pretty neat to have. Now we play this um, a great tree because it serves as a really, really good backup for Yaki Vogue. So even if you don't write your write your Yaki Vogue, you can still play the the more chromo strikes in the deck, which I have plenty. And there's a lot of combo with them, really, really cool combos. So yeah. Um, one copy of Kagura Bloom. Uh, Kagura Bloom is a very, very nice card as well. He's basically a break right. His ability is when you break right, counter blast one, <coughs> counter blast one break right, and your Vanguard begins plus 10k power. And then search for a copy, uh, two cards of the same name as the card into your regular circle. So very, very neat, neat ability because it allows you to do this. Uh, when you break right, search for two copies of him. Or if you want, if you're greedy, you can just call three. 
and in turn you can bounce them back to your hand anyway. So, so for the later game when you perform your perform your strikes, you can still pull off your shenanigans, bounce them back to your hand and stuff. So it's good card. Uh, we only play one as attack because it's not really necessary. Uh, most important is still your Hayaki Vox or your Strike Heart. So two options, two winning image. Uh, what I like to call it. Um, so yeah, let's go on to Great Tools. The Great Tools has some interesting stuff. Uh, great Tools we play for the Flower Hat, Flower Hat Fu Fujino. Fujino skill is uh, whenever a, another of your, if another copy of her is caught to um, Regard Circle. For that turn, this unit gains plus 2k power and when the attack hits, it can unflip the damage. So what you do with her is, you combo with his skill, which allows you to tilt out 2 more units, so that the original unit gains plus more power, gains plus uh, 4k, which is nice because it help, help you hit your magic numbers if you when it's boosted. And yeah, and another cool thing is when you call her, then when you have this, you strike. Too many things I didn't explain, so yeah. Uh, when you strike, you clone. Whatever you're include because you could actually sorry you could strike with this guy, and it becomes aqua force because you can attack from the back row as well. Um, so what the cool thing is when you call two units, he gains four k, and each of them for well tutor for each other, so gain two k two k down k attackers. So yeah, this is solo regards from the back and cool stuff. So yeah, she's a really nice unit because she's she she's she's able to gain huge power just by uh, shadow calling units. So cool card. Alright, next we have four. Uh, Bloody Mist. Just classic. Well, uh, to be honest, uh, Murakumo don't really have any awesome great tools. <laughs> but uh, he's good because early game. Uh, this game, this deck is a control deck, to be honest. Because um, this deck can play really defensively, defensively with all the stuff going on. And hand size, hand size, hand size maintenance is really easy with this deck because he gain a lot of pluses. So his, his ability is just there to. Okay, early game, 10k, no pass, yeah, that's all. And he's just a ninja, it's cool. Cool. Alright, um, next is three copies of the Granjin. Granjin is just early game rush. Uh, attack When attack hits while well, it's boosted, so if it's a Vanguard, boosted by its starter. When it's boosted by its starter, attack hits, it gets a real common copy, but end of turn, it goes back to the deck. So, but but it, the pressure is still there. Your opponent will most likely gonna guard him because nobody wants a free unit slapping their face again. It's really, really painful. This deck is a master of rush as well, since you got to call shadow units all the time. So three copies, just for being there. All right. Next we go to our great ones. Great ones four perfect guards. A white heron, stealth beast white heron. Yep. Uh, her art's pretty nice. Um, so basically, she's our G perfect guard. Uh, if she's there's another copy of her in a drop zone when you perfect guard with her and flip one damage. Well, uh, this deck actually doesn't use a lot of con blast, but it's still there because it's G con blast always good. Unless you don't even use con blast. Uh, four metamorph, metaf, metamorph, 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 yeah, sounds very stupid. Um, he has been a classic combo from um the Hiyaki Vogue deck. So back then, what we always do is Hiyaki box. We have tons of them on a few. It's gonna give you a, a bunch of dumb examples. Uh, the cool thing about Hiyaki box deck is you can just call any random shit unit. And back then, how I played, it's called a bunch of random shit unit. You don't have any boost at all. You can just lock them. Counter blast. You don't even need a counter blast. You just lock two, gain the 10k power. Call him. Uh, unlock one free unit because his ability is unlock one um, regard. Then lock two again, so each gain each becomes thirty k, thirty k, thirty k, thirty one k, thirty one k, thirty one k. So that's huge regard. So if you score a stand, your opponent's gonna get wrecked. So that's a cool thing about Murakumo. Yeah, his skill is basically just unlock one unit. Uh, and so and this card is also uh, splendid against Link Joker. If you ever encounter them, which is most likely you're gonna encounter. So four copies just there. Oops. Alright, another great one we play is um, the Gal Galatine brother, like they call it, the, the Galatine twin. He's just an AK vanilla. He's cool just because when we, stri when we strike, you can just, you can just like, call, you got one, just duplicate one free column, which is just 16k, and turn go, go back anyway, so 
this, this is a tech I play. 16k columns just like that. So if you just one booster here, clone one column, clone and attack, go back. So yeah, simple as that. Alright. Then another great one to play is three strike helpers. Basically discard for strike. Search your deck for the great tree. Search your deck for him if you need it. Yep. Alright, for now for great zeros we play. Uh, we, this deck plays more standard lineup because it doesn't really play draw because we don't really need all the draw power because we have all the advantage we, we have from our summoning. So, uh, four of these stands. These stands are amazing because when this unit is placed on the ragged circle, you may put this, you may shuffle it back to the top of the deck, and sh basically just shuffle the deck. Um, when this card to the ragged circle, you can put it back to your deck. Um, then select one of your ran, uh, select one of your units on the field and duplicate two copies of them. So there's a lot of combos you can pull off, pull off this guy. And yeah, basically he's like a pseudo a pseudo booster caller. So let's say you need some boosters. And you already have one booster. Oh my god, so many cards I have to explain. Alright, so example you have one Metamorph Fox, call him. Clone two Metamorph Fox for the extra tank. It's basically a very nice 5k booster. Free free 5k boosters in a way. And he's a stand trigger. Stand trigger works well in this deck because your regards are gonna be very huge. So, um, another four stands. Basically, it's an eight stand build. Put this card in your soul, and if you have Morocco Vanguard, you can inflict on damage. So uh, I realized this is an Aqua Force. Morocco and Aqua Force are the, are the clans that have the best, one of the best triggers in the game because they have all sorts of triggers, like the Mago clone. Uh, for Naruto Cat. Naruto Cat is um, put the soul gain plus 3k. So it's the flame of victory. Four heals. Yeah, Yuki me. Yeah. Alright. Where's my starter? Shucks. Sorry guys, give me a sec. I tend to, I tend to shuffle my starter into the oblivion. Oh my god. I've tested this deck and this deck works really really well because it is able to gain huge pluses and then finish off with a resending vanguard which is pretty cool. And damn it starter, where the hell are you? Oh my god, pointless recording time. Ugh. Oh, here it is. Alright, the starter is also a very cool card. He's a GB1 effect. Um, so, at the beginning of the main phase, you can Soul Blast 1 and return and bounce this card back to your hand. If you do, select one, look at top 3 cards of the deck and Superior Call 1 of them to your regular circle. At the end of the turn, it is returned back to the bottom of the deck. So, it is good because at the cost of 1 Soul Blast, you bounce this card back to your hand, which can be used again the next turn. And you gain one free unit. But by the cost of one soul blast, which you don't even use a soul anyway, so you can just bounce back. If you want to use that shield next turn, you can just use a shield, or otherwise you can just call it again. Next turn, activate skill again, you get free unit again. So basically, it's a recycling free unit. So he's a really, really good starter. Alright, let's get on to the Great Force. The thing you guys have been waiting for. Two copies of Ambush, Drag Ambush Demon Stealth Dragon, Hiyaki Vok, Hayuta. Hayuta's skills is um, really, really interesting. His skill is... Once per turn, choose one of your regards with Hiyaki and card name and put it at the bottom of the deck. If you have a card, card with Hiyaki in the card name, choose one of your units and then search, search a deck for up to one card of the same name to your, and call it to the regard circle. I'm pretty new with this skill but choose one of your regards with Hiyaki then put a the bottom of the deck then after that you can call another unit with Hiyaki and gain plus 10k power. At the end of the turn, re return the court, the unit caught to caught to the hand. So it's good because you can escape link jokers and stuff. So yeah. Actually, I, I don't understand why they have to say, um, choose one of regards with Hiyaki, a card name, put it to the bottom of the deck, and then call it out. Why not just give it power? But oh well. So yeah. This is great because it gains 10k power and returns it back to your hand. So it's in a way he's like the reverse, but reverse requires you lock, and if you don't have much few presses, you can use him. 
and he's quite spammable because he doesn't require to flip one copy of itself up or not, so he can use two times. However, I find it two is to be the, the very optimal choice because after two, most likely I'm gonna go for the kill, which is the two copies of Ambush uh, Demon Stealth Dragon Homura Raider. Homura Raider is choose a face up, face down cut uh, Ambush and flip a copy of itself up. Then you must then you must have this unit gains reduce one drive and at the end of the battle that this unit attacks a vanguard choose one of your regards and you have three if you have three copies of that regard most likely you're gonna be him you can just call yeah so you, once you've um, complete your um yaki vote stuff you can just like use him then shut select three units shuffle those units back to your deck then resend this card. So basically, he's our resender, the Dragonic Overlord, the ace for the deck. He's our finisher. He's a really good finisher. So yeah. The next strikes we play is um, Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue. Uh, his name's too long. Just two copies. His effect is when you place this card on the, when your unit is placed on the Regard Circle. Okay, when you basically let me just explain it really quickly. So, you strike. So when another unit is placed on the regard circle and you have two or more of the same name as that unit, for that turn, though, that unit gains plus 2k power and continue, this unit can attack even from the back row. So what we do is we when you strike, we copy one of the units we have, aka her, copy two more units anywhere here. And then those units gains plus 2k, 2k. And then from her ability gain another 2k, 2k. Then for her ability gains plus another 4k. So yeah, each of them gain 4k. Which is pretty nice because it allows you to slap their slap the opponent's regards for... Or, oh no, sorry. You can, it allows you to do an aqua force combo. Which is just attack, attack, attack. From the back row. 5k, 5k, 5k. So this guy makes... Uh, turn all your stuff into... Um... Tied the assault, so it's pretty cool. Two copies with the attack. Alright, now my favorite card of the deck is two cosmic uh, snowfall Shirayuki. Shirayuki is a very nice card. Her ability actually doesn't require you to have your Shirayuki in a heart. So she's actually very, very flexible. You can actually use her in any uh, Murakumo deck. Okay, her ability is when this unit is based on the Vanguard Circle, choose one of choose one of your heart cards and search your deck for one of the for one of the card, the same name as card, and score to the regard circle. And if you're, you have the Shiryuki hard card, then at the end of the turn, return that unit back to your hand, and choose a card from your hand and discard it. If you do not, if you do not, at the end of the turn, please put the unit back to the bottom of the deck. So what she says is, for example, if you strike him, you can uh, superior call a copy of, you can superior call two copies of this guy, where are you? Yeah, basically, when you uh, perform strike, you can super call, sorry, super call a copy of him. And then, the what's, uh, okay, what's the cool part is, when you strike, you can super call the heart, if you have an empty field, basically. And then, you can activate the strike skill, counter blast one, uh, super one, another copy of it out. So basically, it gives you a free column if you have no, you have lacking of attackers. So that's why I feel as is a com uh, a very, very cool combo. So play two copies just because she's pretty awesome. Okay, so the combo remember is strike, activate a skill, at uh, superior core first, then counter blast superior corner unit. So attack go back. It goes back to your deck anyway. So yeah, free free attack column. Sure, okay. All right. So that, that's pretty much the Hiyaki Vogue deck. I sure hope you guys enjoyed the deck performed on the Hiyaki Vogue deck. S strike deck. So remember add me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel. Peace out and I love you guys. Bye.